this this showed up, and this is the German Blu-ray for Evil Dead. Tens der Teufel, das Original. And the reason why I have this is because after my Blu-ray collection video, somebody said that the German Blu-ray of the Evil Dead, yeah, is supposedly not George Lucas. So I'm going to pop that in right now, and we're going to find out. It's All right, where is the scene? It's when they're crossing the bridge. What the fuck? So the original, the original version, what it should be showing here is like Rob Tappert hiding in the bushes somewhere. But he's not there, so is this also George Lucas? What's the difference between the remastered and the original then? What's the difference? There, I guess there's literally, is there literally no... Is there literally no un-George Lucas Evil Dead Blu-ray? That's so disappointing. I thought I had it. What's the difference between the remastered and the original? Unless they, they they just like didn't name the disc per correctly, like what the fuck? He's not there. I don't see him. Jesus Christ! Fuck! Pisses me off. I thought I had it. What about the bit with the tube thing where the demon gets shot? Well, if there's no Rob Tappert hiding in the bushes, then that's probably fucked too. But why would it say original and remastered? Why are there two different discs for original and remastered? I need to find that out. All right, I'm going to put in the other disc and see what what it says. All right, I'm going to check this other disc to see if this is still the case. I don't know. It would be weird if remastered version was the untouched one. The picture looks a lot more crisp. In the remastered one, so that's probably that's probably what they mean. They like they they got rid of like a lot of the film grain and shit. Um, but yeah, no Rob Tappert in the bushes. They did. I can't believe they did that. I can't believe they did that. I, that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Oh, it looks so bad. Oh my god. Did I... Maybe I missed him in the other one. Maybe I was looking at the wrong... Maybe the other part of the screen was actually... Because look at this. He's like... Um, he's further He's further to the right than I thought he would be. And I can tell in this one... Because um, like I was looking for him... From memory... I was looking for him like... Right here. But I think he's actually supposed to be over here. Because you can tell in this... Look at just how... Sh Look at how shitty and out of place this part of the frame looks. Look at how terrible this looks. Look at how awful that looks right there. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't even line up properly. Oh, that's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. Just to hide some dude. Like why? That doesn't matter. What do you think the movie is? Anyway, I'm going to put back in that other disc because now I'm concerned that I wasn't looking at the right part of the frame. So hold on. Yeah, that's like so much worse than just having Rob Tappert there. Moment of truth here. Let's see. This is the bridge no, it still looks like shit. It still looks like shit. Oh my god, the only difference between original and remastered is like the film grain, but they still edited it. What the fuck? That looks so bad. It's It looks even worse in the remastered one because the film grain kind of hides how terrible it is. Oh my god. Well, it, it's not even like George, George Lucas had nothing to do with this. It's Sam Raimi. And so I can't imagine why... They would do that. So I'm going to show you the um, original here. This is the this is the DVD version. It's still widescreen too. I guess the chapters. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So there's Rob Tappert. 
There's Rob Tappard, and that's what they digitally removed. And it's like the first time, the first time I watched the movie, I didn't notice it, right? But also something that you have to keep in mind is like, Evil Dead is not a movie that is important because it's like unironically scary or creepy. That's not why it's important. Evil Dead is an important movie because it's a story of people with no money making a horror film over the course of several years and having it being wildly successful and starting their careers. That's why it's an important movie. So to to completely sanitize the film and remove everything about it that shows <laughs> that it is like a low budget thing right like and and oh it's so frustrating so this isn't the only uh thing that they got rid of there's also a shot i i i'm let's see if i can find it there's like a uh uh i have to switch back to my camera because there is one titty shot in the movie that i don't want to show um there it is Hold on. So here, here's another example of something that they completely sanitized. So this is the original DVD, keep in mind, so you'll be able to see it here. Notice, in the next shot right after this, look at the top right corner, look at the moon, and you'll be able to notice a, like, matte cutout of the moon, and you can see it, like, sh shaking and shifting around. See that? See the moon, like, shaking around like that? That's another thing that they fixed. There's another shot where you can see, like, a bit of the tube coming out of uh let's see i'll just i'll just show you right now let's see if i can find it again i could probably there's like yeah there's there's a few shots in this movie that they'd completely fixed and it's fucking disgusting it's genuinely disgusting you're erasing your own history you're erasing your own history yeah so there's that tube right there that you can see squirting out the blood this is, this is the, yeah, that's, you can see the tube. They, they fixed that, they removed that. And you know what's really fucking sad about this? Is that Bruce Campbell, so on this, on this DVD edition, there's actually, uh, there's actually a couple different commentary tracks. And let's see if I can find them. Navigate, title menu, here we are. Um... I could have just changed the audio, but whatever. Uh, there's a couple different commentary tracks, and Bruce Campbell actually won an award <laughs> for the commentary track on this film. Sam Raimi and Rob Tappert also did a commentary track, uh, but in both of these commentaries, half of what they're saying, half of what they're talking about was about like the struggles of making the film was about like, oh yeah, so this actor left on that day and that's why they look different in the next shot. This is why my hair's longer in this shot. This is actually five months later in a garage, right? And this is why we couldn't do this. This is why we couldn't do that. And throughout the commentary, they're specifically mentioning these issues with the film. These issues including Rob Tappert hiding in the bushes, the blood tube being visible, the matte cutout of the moon. These are what make the film interesting these are part of the greater story of the film itself right this is this like this film is more important for people who are interested in making films than it is for people just watching it because they think it's scary because it's really honestly like it's not like a it's not like a fantastic horror movie or anything the reason why it has a cult status the reason why the reason why it's so important <laughs> Is because Hello, Bruce Campbell here. Because of these mistakes. This is the we're gonna cross. Jesus Christ. See in the background of that shot, Rob? To the right of the Delta. If you rewind your desk, you'll see Rob Tappert standing back there. Oh, that's right. So they mention it in these commentaries. They mention these different these different parts of the film, right? And like it's important to to like why even make a commentary on something? Like, if you're not going to make it for people that want to make movies and, like, want to know how movies are made and stuff, right? Like, it's such an invaluable resource for people who are interested in film to know that these mistakes exist. And also to be comfortable with the mistakes. Like, what about fucking The Evil Dead 
is like so important that you need to George Lucas it. Seriously, that's absolutely insane. It's the it's the Evil Dead, the Evil Dead. You George Lucas. What does George Lucas mean? What does George Lucas mean? It it means to digitally alter a film well after its initial release and then prevent people from watching the original version. Because they don't sell the original version anymore. Yeah, here, listen to Bruce talk about this. Yeah, my belly feels great! <laughs> Who is Another? behind the goof removals? Sam Raimi, studio. It's probably Sam Raimi, because the studio is just Anchor Bay Entertainment. It's not like they have leverage. And it costs money to remove this shit. And as we already saw with the shot of Rob Tappert in the bushes, it looks a billion times worse. It looks so much worse. Anyway, let's listen. Another one of these wonderful mat shots where you can see the little square in the upper right hand corner. But I hate to give away all these trade secrets. Why don't we stay up for a while? And listen? Yeah. So they're like mentioning, they're mentioning it in these commentaries. And so after they completely fixed fixed the film for the blu-ray releases they changed the commentary tracks too they recorded new ones and so like literally the best commentary track the most hilarious commentary track i've ever heard from bruce campbell on this dvd is just they don't sell it anymore because how could they when they're directly referencing things that no are no longer in the film that's fucking insane why did they do it? I don't know! Several changes to the DVD, the original version is the DVD version. I mean, technically the original version is film, but the, the DVD version is unaltered, is what I'm saying. And every single fucking HD version of Evil Dead that exists on the fucking planet, including the German one that I just bought, that had two different versions, one original and one remastered. Even on the original version, it's just more film grain and they edited these things out. Even on the even on the German version that says original version and has a separate disc for remastered. Why? Why even have the like that's literally just lying. That's literally lying. It's not the original version. It's a different remastered version. Those are both remastered versions. Is Sam Raimi on Twitter? <laughs> like Bruce Campbell's on Twitter. Ted Raimi's on Twitter. Sam's brother, who has appeared in a couple of his films, is Rob Tappert on Twitter. Yes, this is Rob. Everybody but Sam Raimi is on Twitter. We got Bruce Campbell. We got Rob Tappert. And we got Ted Raimi. Can we, like, once this highlights video is published, can we start, like, a hashtag or some shit? I just want the original version. I just want the original version. Like I don't I don't want that bullshit of uh, like disgusting 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 effect to remove Rob Tappert hiding in the bushes. You have the original footage. Why didn't we get the original film when we bought an HD version? How come nobody else gives a shit? I think it's so important to to show the film warts and all. And perhaps Perhaps if they didn't do that, then they could have included uh, Bruce Campbell's commentary track. Perhaps they could have included that on on the uh, HD version. Because, like, that commentary track's amazing. I love it so much. Like, there's no need to do another one. There's no need to improve it. Or at least give us the option to hear the old one. Give us the option to watch the original film. Why don't we have the option to watch it in HD? Why don't we, like... I... <laughs> The German Blu-ray had two discs, one saying remastered and one saying original. And even the original cut wasn't the original cut. That's fucking disgusting. Why? I guess release the Tappert cut is the best thing that we could... Is like the best hashtag we could have. I can't think of a better one. Release the Tappert cut. And if you're gonna, like, release it, then, like... You know, don't don't fix that other shit too. Like it's just why? Uh, 
It's so disgusting. I don't want to watch the HD version that isn't the true film. The true film is is the film that a bunch of college kids or however old they were made over the course of several years with barely any money and actors that quit on them throughout the film, which caused them to, to use what they called fake shemps to replace the actors. That's the movie. That's the movie that I watched and that's the movie that I love. So just let me let me buy that on Blu-ray. Let me watch it in HD somewhere. 4K Blu-ray would be even better. I don't... It's so, so annoying. Pisses me off. Anyway, should I conclude this in some way? Hashtag release the Tappert cut. Tweet at Ted Raimi and Bruce Campbell and Rob Tappert. And link this video, I guess. Or maybe just show screenshots if they don't want to watch the whole video. Just have, have a screenshot of, like, the disgusting, disgusting computer-generated polishing, the fixing that they did on that shot, and then compare it to the original, where it's just a person hiding in the bushes. And there was no expl- I didn't- like, there's no explanation. I at least want an explanation. Like, why'd you do that? Why? <laughs> like, who wanted that? Who? It's a, it's complete George Lucasing. It's like literally nobody wanted it. And I have to blame Sam Raimi. I have to assume that he's the one that made that decision. Who else could have made that decision? Anchor Bay Entertainment? Is are we seriously to believe that Anchor Bay Entertainment wouldn't release a Blu-ray without them fixing those shots? You never know. It could be the case. I just want them to, like, acknowledge it. I just want them to, like, be like, yeah, we're aware, or something. Some think it was due to Universal Studios. Well, which, this is the first Blu-ray that got released. I don't see Universal Studios listed anywhere. I see Anchor Bay Entertainment and Renaissance Pictures, two much smaller companies than Universal Studios. This was the first Blu-ray that got released. And this this is this is the one that has the first instance of that change happening. I just want to watch the original movie in HD. I want to buy your product. Unfortunately, I've bought I've bought films that were pretending to be the product that I wanted to buy with no disclaimer saying this is this is a I guess I guess technically they said it was remastered, but that's not what I thought that it would mean. If you want to get rid of film grain, go for it. If you want to get rid of film grain, I don't see the issue. Don't get rid of parts of the movie. Anyway. Ugh. That's fucking bullshit. Acknowledge this, Bruce Campbell. Acknowledge this, Ted Raimi. Acknowledge this. Rob Tappert, who did this? Who is responsible? And also, like, you guys have released, like, eight different fucking versions of Army of Darkness. You clearly, clearly have no issue with releasing, like, a billion different editions of the same movie over and over. Just release another one. Just release the original. I'll buy it. That's what I want. Release, release the same movie again without the bullshit. It has to exist in HD somewhere without those changes. Why am I not given the option to watch the original film? Even on the Ger German Blu-ray <laughs> that literally says original edition and has a separate disc for remastered and apparently the only difference is just the film grain. Fuck you. I'm mad. Anyway. You lost my respect, Sam. I want to watch the original fucking movie. Video displaying some of the changes in the Evil Dead Blu-ray. Oh, where'd you find this video? Where'd you find this unlisted video showing the changes in the Evil Dead Blu-ray? Where'd you find that? Here, I'll open this video on, on the other computer. We'll watch through it. Here's all of the shots that have been changed, changed from the U.S. theatrical print, which is the same as the DVD, to the, <clears throat> the Blu-ray released in 2010. 
which I believe, I believe is this one. Uh, yeah, copyright 2010. So I was correct. And there were only a few changes that I immediately noticed because I listened to the commentary and I loved the commentary. I fell in love with those commentary tracks on the DVD edition. And so when watching the Blu-ray, I was like, what the fuck? These things that I remember from the film are not there. And that's when I realized that they fucked it up. But now, apparently somebody has actually compiled more of these changes. And we're about to go through them. So, no Rob Tappert hiding in the bushes. It looks like shit now with that stupid digital matte thing. Fuck. You can't even tell how bad it looks in this resolution. But, um... This is where I said, oh no. This... This is disgusting. This is disgusting. So, like, because of the continuity of how they were filming, and because they had no money and no time, there were certain shots where it's like, oh, outside, it's not supposed to be dark out, because we were filming at night. And then they just went and changed it? They literally digitally changed the outside lighting? That's disgusting. That's actually fucking disgusting. That's so gross. Cameraman's reflection in the window has been digitally fucking painted out. Oh, another one. Exterior darker evening bit was adjusted to sunny dusk. Another one of those. Oh my god, yeah. The blue lighting in the background now changed to like daytime, sunny dusk or whatever. Oh, it's so disgusting. This isn't the same movie. You have to show it warts and all. The warts are what made the film special. Yeah, so outside again. Blue. Used to be blue. Yeah, the matte cutout. Tweaked blending levels and movement steadied. Yep. I knew about that one. Disgusting. Genuinely disgusting. Yeah, you can see it, like, shifting around in that shot. Yeah, like, that's... That's the whole charm of the film, is that it was low budget. It was filmed for, like, nothing over the course of several years. It was made with with ambition. That's That's why the film is special. Why would you want to remove that? Background lights have been digitally painted out? Ugh. That's disgusting. Yeah, these lights here. Why? Whatever, dude. It's Evil Dead. Linda screaming has been horizontally flipped to correct screen direction. Why? Like, how can you honestly go through Evil Dead for the Blu-ray and be like, what can we change about this to make it perfect? It was never a perfect movie. Even the Blu-ray is not a perfect movie. There's, like, logical issues that don't make sense. You want to change the lines of dialogue, too, Sam? Do you want to go go through the whole thing and redub it? Add a shitty dub to make it so that, like, some of the logical inconsistencies don't exist anymore? Is that what you want to do, Sam? Yeah, it makes just as much Blu-ray. sense. <laughs> change the whole plot, why don't you? Two lens flares painted out. Weird. Jump cut while Ash is moving. The dresser has been smoothed with a fade. Oh, that's disgusting. Have fun, son. All right. That's disgusting. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's so bad. So, yeah, like, obviously, janky cut in the original. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. But then, like, to pretend that that didn't happen... Oh, that fade looks such shitty. Oh, oh, my words aren't working anymore. Camera movement during animation digitally steadied. Yeah, I didn't watch far enough into the Blu-ray to even get to this part, but I could have fucking guessed that this would be the case. Because, yeah, you can see it, like, shifting around in the animation and stuff. There's, like, the... Yeah, you can see, like, the... Yeah. Handheld shot digitally steadied. Why?! They didn't even get all of them. There are, like, actually more changes than this video even showed. 
That's crazy. They really just went through the whole fucking thing. This is so stupid. Why would they do that? Why, Sam? Why? Tell us why! Yeah, I'm pretty sure when the, like, goop comes out of the, uh, skull eye, that also got changed, too. Because you can see it, like, shifting over in the original. Where can you find the original cut of the movie? You'll have to buy one of the DVDs, which I believe are out of print. Like, one of the original DVDs. Anyway, I guess this is the real ending of the highlights video. Go tweet. Go tweet them. Let's figure this shit out. Do not let them rest. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't say that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> thanks again for watching. Special thanks to my $5 and up patrons. Lemonade Warrior, Pit Wang, Brendan Stuper, Mechadong, Diajesus, Rift, and Malav Shah. Bye.